in this model we have p panel so p panel rating is uh, 2000 watts so single panel rating is 250 watts okay so here we are using eight panel so total power will be 2000 watts so single panel voltage will be 30.7 so eight panel connected in series so we will get 30.78 so almost is around uh, 245.6 okay and then this solar panel uh, is going to be connected to the dc bus so this is a dc bus okay via this boost converter and this boost converter going to be controlled by means of mbpt algorithm so here you can see that we are using mbpt algorithm nothing but the incremental conductance mbpt so the incremental conductance mbpt we see two inputs only voltage and current so based upon voltage and current right it will be generated the duty cycle so this duty cycle going to be processed via fuel limit generator so this will be generated the pulse so this pulse is going to be used for control control this uh, so this speed volume will be used to control this IGBT of this boost converter to extract the maximum power from the V panel. Okay. And then we have to see about uh, battery, right? So battery going to be connected to the uh, DC bus uh, via this the bidirectional converter. Okay. So this bidirectional converter going to be controlled by means of voltage and current control method. So here you can see that you have to measure the uh, DC bus voltage and it going to be compared with reference voltage so here we are going to um, maintain the voltage is 400 volt okay and then it going to be processed via pa controller and then pa controller will be provide reference current battery reference current so that will be compared with the battery actual current and it going to be processed via pa controller and then it going to be processed via petroleum generator so it will be generated the pulse so the pulse going to be used to control this two igpt not to maintain dc bus voltage constant as well as the the uh, it going to be decided the charging and the discharging current for that battery okay so next we have fuel cell so before that i am telling that battery detail so battery detail is 300 volt 40 th okay and then here we are using fuel cell the fuel cell rating is so nominal rating is 4.4 kilowatt maximum it can generate 7 kilowatts right so at the nominal power right the voltage will be 220 volt and the current will be 20 amps and then for maximum power operation the voltage will be 200 and current will be 35 amps okay so this fuel cell right going to be connected to the dc bus via this boost converter so this boost converter going to be controlled by means of current control method so here the fuel cell right the fuel cell going to be operated during uh, the power right uh, the, that means the power from the pv is less that means the power from the pv is less than 600 and the soc of the battery right is less than 30 percentage then fuel cell will be supply power to the load dc load and ac load okay so so here we are going to uh, so here you, you can see that uh, this is an inverter right so this is a single phase inverter the single phase inverter going to be con uh, connected to the ac load via this uh, lcl filter okay so here we are going to measure the the load current and here we are measuring the dc load current so here we are measuring AC load current this point we are going to measure AC load current and then in this point we are measuring the uh, DC load current so both will be added here right both will be added here so here we are checking the condition so what the condition PV is less than 600 watts and SOC of the battery is less than 30 so then a fuel cell will be supply the Power. so that means what happened this switch will be allow when this two condition will be true so this will, this will allow this current reference right and then it will be compared with the 
fuel cell current okay and then when we process via pa controller that pa controller will be uh, generating a duty cycle and then it will be processed via pdlm generator and the final pulse will be used for control this converter to control the fuel cell current okay so the, the fields will be activated today uh, only that um, when uh, pv power is less than 600 and the soc is less than 30 percent okay so next we move on to the control of uh, inverter right that mean uh, ac load inverter So here we have to measure inverter current and the load voltage. Okay. So here we are going to generate the reference voltage. So this is a reference voltage generation. Okay, in the form of D and Q. So here we are measuring the actual AC load and then that actual AC load when we convert it into DQ form. So the DQ uh, form will be compared with the reference. Okay reference uh, dq and it when we process via voltage controller so here we are using two voltage controller and finally we are getting the control output in the form of dq so that will be converted into a b form so this a going to be act as a current reference okay this one this one is at this current reference this current reference going to be compared with the actual current of this inverter and it going to be processed via PA controller, current PA controller, and it will be generate the modulating signal. Okay, so this modulating signal, when we process via pedulum generator, okay, sinusoidal pedulum generator, and then it will be generate the four pulse. That four pulse will be used to for control this inverter. Okay. So then automatically this uh, inverter supply the uh, corresponding power to the AC load. So based upon that the power in the PV battery and fuels. Okay. And here we are operating the model. That means here we are creating the irradiation, right? So every once again we are changing the irradiation from 1 to 0.8 and 0.5 and 0.3. Okay. So so that mean uh, one means uh, it multiplied with the 1000 so 1800 500 300 200 right so then finally you will get the that mean uh, it will be changed the irradiation of the pv so because of that what happened the power from the pv also will be changed okay and then you can see the result of the pv measurement here and then battery here and then fuel cell and then dc load and then ac okay so now we can see that so initially the irradiation will be 1000 so pv generating around 2000 watts so because of that the battery so this is a pv voltage maintain 245 volt so this is a pv current pv current will be changed according with the irradiation and power also going to be changed according with the irradiation so this is a pv voltage pv voltage maintained around 310 volt and this is pv current so PV current will be negative, uh, negative means uh, charging mode, okay, PV power is negative means uh, charging mode, okay, so PV, uh, sorry, battery current, sorry, battery current is uh, negative means uh, charging, battery power is negative means charging, okay, so when battery current goes to positive, battery power goes to positive means battery into charging mode, okay, so here you can see that this is fuel cell voltage, so fuel cell current now fuel cell is not supplying any power because there is uh, there was a, a, a enough power from the pv and the source of the battery is not less than 30 percentage so okay that means that condition is not uh, satisfied so that's why fuel cell not supplying any power so this is a dc bus voltage is maintained at 400 so this is a dc bus current this is a dc bus power okay so this is the ac load voltage ac load current and then AC load power is maintained at 1000 watts. Okay, so here you can see that when the, the power right power of PV is comes to less than 600, right? So when that uh, during the time fuels will be start supplying power to the 
that DC load and AC load. So we will check the result. So we have to wait for some time. Now you can see here, right? Uh, the PV power comes to less than 600 and the SOC of the battery is as already is less than 30 percentage. Okay. So that will be, you can see here, right? So it says SOC is less than 30 percentage. So because of that, what happened? The fuel cell supplying power to the uh, AC load and DC load. Okay. Is it clear? So now you can see that the fuel cell current is increasing, fuel cell power is increasing. Okay. And then uh, fuel uh, the pin battery is charging going for charging mode, right? So the fuel cell will be now supplying power to the DC load, AC load, and the, the excess power will be available in the fuel cell will be used for charge the battery. Okay, so this is working of this model. Okay, thank you.